people, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. And I've got another demonstration for you of one of our database templates. So I'm over here on the MicrosoftAccessExpert.com website. I'm going to scroll down on to the database templates on the left side. And today we're going to look at the Access Conference Room Booking Database. And we'll go ahead and click on that link. It is important to notice that there are three different versions of this database template for you to download. There is an internal use version, which allows you to use this database template as unlimitedly within your own organization. There is also an unlimited developer version, which allows you to use this database template, modified or not, into any of your current or future development projects and distribute it to whoever you like. There is also a compiled runtime version, which does not allow for or database changes or template changes, you won't be given access to the code, but you will be given all the features of the standard version and you can include it in any of your current projects. So what we're looking at now is the demo for the uh, Access Conference Room Booking Database. And we'll go ahead and right click and say Save Link As. We'll go ahead and save this to our desktop. And it's downloaded, so we'll no longer need our browser. We'll close out of that. And we've got a zip file here. If you don't know how to work with zip files, I'll include a, include a link in the description below on how to work with compressed zip files. I'm just going to go extract all, extract. And we'll go ahead and open our conference room demo here. You may get a security warning depending on where you save your file. Uh, this is not anything bad. It, it is a setting within Access. I'm not going to cover that in this particular demo. I will include a link to how to work with trusted locations in the description below. For now, we can just click Open. And there is a note to begin with that this is a demo version of this software. If you try to enter information, save and close the database and reopen, the data will be gone. So if you want to use this database in your development, you'll have to purchase a full version from our website. That link is included in the description below as well. You can also contact us by a couple of different means. You can get, get a hold of us through our website, email, messenger, Skype, online chat, or a contact form. So that kind of sums up the uh, boilerplate there. We'll go ahead and close out of that. And now what we have here is our uh, conference room booking reservation database. We'll go ahead and look at some of our setup forms here. We can click on the maintenance button, which gets us access to the various conference rooms, which we've already set up a couple of here. You also got a display code. You can select uh, different colors for each of the individual conference rooms that show up on the calendar view or on your printed report. You also have the ability to select up to seven of the conference rooms to be uh, displayed in the calendar view. Uh, we'll go over here to the contacts. Contacts can be entered here. We just got some basic contacts and you can enter those as you see fit. We also have the ability to set a location, which you may have conference rooms in, in various buildings in different towns or cities. So that is an option through the maintenance form. We'll go ahead and close out of our maintenance form. The other thing we'll look at here is the setup. These are some settings, general settings for the application and the calendar display. You can set the first day of the week, uh, any day, Sunday through Saturday. We also have a week type, whether you want to show a full work week, uh, show a, a full week. Um, you also have the default for the print method of whether you want uh, landscape or portrait. We also have a, an ability to show uh, the time on day view. We'll go ahead and leave that checked. Whether when we go to print, whether we have the detail information, if it prints the colors in our reports, and uh, show the location and day of week in uh, show the location in the day week view. We also have where we can start the day of the week, what time it starts, and the end of the week and what time it starts, or ends, sorry. And we have the day view and we can set the inter interval of 15 minutes, a half an hour, an hour. I'm going to go ahead and leave that at 15 minutes. We can go over to 24 hour time. I'm going to leave that alone. We've got time uh, to view, and this is whether we view every minute, uh, five minutes, ten minutes, so on, so on. I'm going to set that for an hour for right now. 
Um, then we have the default calendar view, which I'm going to leave at day. You have the day format, whether you want a month, day, year, or day, month, year. We can also show the total time in the biweekly and monthly views of the total time for that conference room. And one final option we have here is the total time format, which we can either display as a de decimal or as a hour minute value. Um, so we'll go ahead and close out of this form. And now we'll go ahead and try to make an entry here. We'll go ahead and say at 1 p.m. Uh, the room of conference room one, one or subject here, we'll say it's uh, access training. The location is town one. Uh, we'll go ahead and say the start time, the end time. We'll go ahead and put as same day, and we'll say it's uh, two hours long. We can set whether it's a recurring or all day event as well. We can select a custom color. I'm going to go ahead and select red here. We can invite attendees. These are based off of those entry values that we had listed uh, in our uh, setup table. And we can set whether they're required to show up or not. We'll go ahead and select save and close. And you'll see now we have this access training in town one. We can double click. Uh, we can see the invited attendees and maintain that information, or we can save and close. We have the ability to look by just a specific conference room. So now we'll just show conference room one, conference room two, which we don't have anything scheduled for, or all. We do have the ability to export or import from Excel. We also have the ability to search if we want to run a search here you can see that we have access training in town one conference room one and the times that those are going we have the ability to export to Excel as well from this search form or you can export to Outlook calendar or Outlook task format we can also print a detail which we can see here so you can see which conference rooms are booked for what times we can also print a summary which just shows the amount of reservation and lifetime use of the particular conference room so we'll go ahead and close out of that search. Uh, we also have the ability to view by week. We also have the ability to view bi-weekly or monthly. And you can see that we can uh, see that this particular day has uh, access training scheduled on the 9th and we also have the ability to print the full calendar view if you like and that kind of concludes this uh, demo of our conference room booking reservation database feel free to give us a like or subscribe to our youtube channel to keep up to date with all of our tutorials demos and products uh, feel free to follow us on facebook or twitter or join our circle on google plus Feel free to contact us for any of your access development needs on any current projects, new projects, anything that's using one of our database templates that you may need help expanding to your own needs or if you need help implementing into a current system. I will put links to the various ways to contact us in the description below. Thank you and have a great day.